on the computer screen you see a drawing of a anchor plate basically this is an anchor plate i think it is written as a gasket here i'm not really sure whether it is anchor plate or gasket okay let us call it as gasket no problem so now so here what we need to do in just one minute let me just have a look It is an anchor plate basically it is an anchor plate let me change it over here first uh, let me go to this one go to text okay make it double click close it I will come here select this one I will type it as anchor plate okay it's an anchor plate right so now we want to draw this anchor plate so what is this size this is something like 100 by 100 should do now what i will do i will go open a new file from here i will open a new file limits 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 the first thing 0 comma 0 enter 150 comma 150 enter okay now then zoom extends z enter e enter now everything is there i will just go to viewport tile them vertically now i have this so what I will do now, I will just try to draw this one, okay. Now here what you can see, 90 by 90, you can see very clearly, this is 90, this is also 90, is it not? So I will make a rectangular array, first I will create this, what is the radius of this one, radius is 20, what is the inside radius, uh, the diameter of this one, the diameter of this one is not here, let me just find out, let me just go here. Let me type diameter, diameter for this one is how much? The diameter for this one is 22, okay. Now what I will do now, I will come to my drawing. I will draw a circle with diameter 22, enter. Then another circle with radius of 20, with the radius as 20. Radius as 20, okay. Now what I will do now, I will make rectangular array rectangular array i will click i will select both of them enter it's already doing something how many columns i need i need only two columns enter how many rows i need two rows see on the top i am typing two enter what is the distance between the rows it is nine zero enter what is the distance between the columns nine zero enter that's it now see here i will go to home i will just move this one bring it down see here done already done escape now what is the next job for me now next job for me is to draw this fillet see here this fillet what is the radius r60 this is also 60 just go to fillet command type radius what is the value of radius 60 enter i need to make four so i will select multiple come and click on this one and this one it's already it did not do let me redo it again fillet escape fillet radius radius is how much six zero enter now multiple i want to do it i will take multiple oh yeah first of all because this is an array i should explode it just i will go and explode this click on this one explode now each one is a separate entity now you can do array I mean sorry fillet go to fillet radius type 60 enter now select the objects this one and this one okay since I did not select multiple so I have to do it again and again if you select multiple no need you can just press space bar now to finish this one this one see your job is done now go to trim command delete this sorry go to trim command remove this one remove this remove this remove this okay now everything is done now what do i need now escape i need to draw a circle inside what is the diameter of the circle the diameter of the circle is 66 just go center and diameter where is the center now i want add the midpoint of these two lines okay just press shift right click your mouse button you will see mid between two points click on this one now remove your uh, left your hand from the shift key no problem come here and here see it is catching in the middle of this 
what is the diameter 66 enter alas your drawing is done now what is left now we have to make axis just go here click on this one let's say uh, make dimensions <coughs> dim type what color you want you want to give a color of uh, uh, cyan no problem give it cyan okay and then make one more layer so i will call it as txt text what color i want it will copy from the previous layer okay so give a different color now green fine then one more layer i will call as axis a x i s axis what is the color i will give i will give the color as yellow no problems yellow now i will change the line type i will change the line type load a new line take it as dash dot so many lines are there i will select this enter then select here okay then enter now see here the line is changed now close it where are we now let's go to dimensions okay let's click on dimensions double click so that that becomes your current layer see dimensions now what i will do i will just do the dimensions linear dimension from where from the center to this center oh it is looking too small isn't it let me just close this one no need to save it let us be out i will go here it is too small <coughs> z enter re enter let me write it looks to be little better but it may not help me so what i will do now i will just go to annotate here click on the dimensions go to modify now you have symbols and arrows 2.5 make it 4 enter go to text make the height as 4 enter primary units 0, 0.00 enough that's fine i think close okay see there the size increased now now the next dimension you can even do dimensioning here itself under annotate between this point and this point just come out you have here then <coughs> go to radius where is radius uh, diameters there let's just do the diameter for this one this one again space bar select this you can put it here wherever you want to keep you can keep it okay better put it here then let's make it radius select this one the radius is there space bar select shall i put it here yeah let me put it here little bit this side let's space out the dimensions yes everything is done now there is nothing left for me 90 90 x and y is done diameter and the radius of the circle and then the fillet everything is done now just let me go back to my home click on layers make axis as double click on that it becomes current now i will just draw a line from where i'll just draw from this one this quadrant a little bit up any this side no problems okay or rather cancel i will just draw a line just go near it you will find this one just come from here to here enter then one more line just go to this arc you will find a center here just come down just touch here you will go down here some make a ortho on so somewhere here is enough enter see z enter e enter so now everything is done now so now what i will pan little bit i will put my text here go to text layer double click it to make it current just select single line text that will help me enough more than enough i will just click here height is 2.5 make it 5 enter direction 0 enter a n c h r anchor p l a t e anchor plate okay that's it I escape now what I will do I will save it right I will save as I will just save as what I will do I will use anchor plate because earlier anchor plate was there so one dimension was missing so I will use that one and gasket and let me change it okay yes so now I saved it now I will show you one more thing how to convert it into PDF file okay just go to print print command just go to print command and then select your adobe pdf see here select this one now paper size let it be there i will set center the object see it is coming here 
I will make it landscape and to check it. It may not help me. Okay. Let it be portrait. No problem. I will not use display. I will go and take window. Then come here. Click and drag. This is my window. Now just preview how does it look like. It doesn't look good because the colors are different. You cannot print this. Escape. Now what I will do. Come here. See plot style table. Click here. Just click here and take monochrome. Monochrome means it will make as black. See there now. Sorry, cancel. Let me just uh, let me redo it. Okay. <coughs> Adobe PDF. Now display. I will select window from here to here. Right. I will make it center of the page. I will just go and select monochrome. Yes. Preview, preview. When you preview it, see, it looks like this. Okay. This seems to be fine. I will press escape. Now I will say okay. When I say okay, it is opening where it wants to say. I don't know. Let me just go back to my CAD exercises. I have a file, PDF files here. I will click here. I will type as anchor plate model. Okay. Anchor plate model. Incorporate. I will save it as incorporate. Okay, it's saved now. Thank you very much for watching this video. This will be given to you in the blackboard, inshallah.